Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anation2010, as always, and we're going to be continuing our veteran campaign for Modern Warfare 3 Hack 1 Mission 2 Hunter Killer. I'm going to let this cinematic roll so you can hear what's going on. This is Lightning 3 1. Guidance systems are back online. Standing by with a full payload of Jade Amps. Requesting clearance. Lightning 3 1, you are cleared to engage. Bring in the hard deck, DOT, five seconds. Weapons away. Verify initial strikes on the Predator feed. Sir, appears all sites have been neutralized. Good work, Sandman. We've regained air dominance over Manhattan and pushed the front line back to the river. What's our next target? The Russian command vessel is an Oscar II submarine carrying enough cruise missiles to level the eastern seaboard. We need to strike fast before they can launch a counterattack. Roger, what's the mission? Infiltrate the vessel, take over the bridge, then turn their weapons against their own fleet. I need you to link up with the SEALs and get it done. Good luck. Get up, boys. Where's our infill point? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. I thought it collapsed. It did. In position. STV, Team 4, this is Metal 01. Radio check in the blind, over. Roger, 01, we have you 5x5. Five five. Phase line echo secure. We have execute authority. We're one minute out. Copy that. Just don't start the party without us. Almost through. Primary entry point is open. Stay tight. Easy to get separated down here. Alright, now this mission, Hunter Killer, is easily one of my Damn. most favorite missions in this entire game. Nothing we can um, do for them now. Why, you might ask? Because, well, as you're going to see, it's probably the most fun to play, I think. Maintain one of the most fun nine, missions. Funnest, more fun, to whatever. Zero, you get what I'm trying to say. It's, it's a really Roger, fun mission, so. And, unlike the last one, there's only two, um intels of this team should be up ahead. I'll tell you where Pursue. both of them are when we get there. And there's also uh, two achievements for this one. The uh, first one being wet work is just for finishing this level on any difficulty. And the second one is uh, the Big Apple. And you can get that by only if you beat uh, the first mission, uh, Black Tuesday, and this one. Uh, Hunter Killer, both on Veteran. Now, usually you'll get that achievement when you play... Uh, Hunter Killer, because you have to beat Black Tuesday to get to Hunter Killer, but, you know, it doesn't really matter uh, which one you get it at. Point is, that's how you get that one. Power down, here we go. Oscar 2, 8 o'clock. This is, this scene right here is one of my favorites. Just seeing the sub go overhead over you. And just how big this sub is, just... It's ginormous. Yeah, that's what she said, whatever, but... I mean, look at the size of this. Wait till she passes. And you're probably thinking, oh, well, it's a video game. Subs aren't this big. They really are. If you look at the Oscar II, uh, Oscar II class submarine, they really are this big. Planting. Frost, plant the mine on the sub. Which I think is very impressive. Especially for the guy who's driving it. Not crashing anything with driving something as big as a football field, maybe bigger. It's pretty impressive. But anyways, getting sidetracked. Good job. We'll prep the exit. Let's watch the mission a bit. Going explosive. Hit it. Overlord, this is metal zero one. Sub is surfacing. Commencing assault. Roger zero one. Continue to primary objective. We need control of the sub's missiles. Here you get a sense of how big it really is. You can see this part right here, it's like two stories, and it's only half of the submarine, maybe even less. So the whole thing's probably like four to five stories tall. 
Maybe more, I'm not sure, but at least in this game. Right here in this room, in the far right corner, I think I walk up to it. Uh, it's the first piece of intel out of two on this entire level. Yep, right there. There you go. Intel number on this level. Stairs <laughs> clear. I don't know what he was doing, he was like car washing the floor which is flooded so I don't know what he was doing. But he's dead. And this, um, you'll notice, this uh, gameplay, it's very close quarters. I mean obviously you're in a submarine, there's not going to be much room, but still. So you want to have uh, a lot of close quarters weapons, you want to have, the striker is really good. I mean, I got killed right there, that was pretty stupid of me. Don't do that. Don't reload in the open like I did. That was bad for me. Don't do that. That's an easy way, like I just demonstrated, to get killed fast. So don't do that. Also, if you see the striker on this mission, I really hate encouraging people using shotguns because it's really easy to use and get kills with, but on this mission, and since it's on the campaign, I would highly suggest getting the striker. Since stuff like this is going to be like the furthest you're going to be shooting people at. They're going to be really up close to you. I think I actually pick up the striker. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't know. I never really like using shotguns. Alright, and here in this room is the next piece of intel. Now, there's kind of two stories. I'm on like the first story. You can kind of see there's the next, uh, there's the next level. If you go up here, let's say 25 meters up there is the front. Now if you go upstairs and you go into the uh, left corner, where I'm kind of looking at right now, if you go into the left corner and then upstairs on the second level, that's where the intel is. I know that was a really crappy description, but I'll try and like, I'll try and put an annotation or something where it is. Like right above this guy I think is where it is. Yeah, that's where it was. So the stairwell is on the left of the 17 meters mark. You just go up there to where I killed that guy earlier, or where I told you it was. Just go up there and you'll find the second piece of intel, and that's it for this entire level. It's a pretty short level, so... My aim was pretty bad in this game because I was playing. Uh, I was playing when the sun uh, decided to come out. Like literally five minutes into the game, the sun started just shining into my eyes. I couldn't see anything. So and that's why if you see me do something really stupid, clutch like, well, that's that's why. Again, the basics. You want to stay behind cover, and then you know once you're out of ammo, go back behind cover like this. Reload go back. Also flu fla uh, flu flashes, yeah, that's, that's good. A few flashes if you want, just to make sure. I mean, in here it's it's a small area, so it'll probably get two or three people, most of them. So it's not a bad idea, you just have, I only had two, so I wanted to really conserve them. And yeah, like I said, <laughs> on veteran, it doesn't take much to kill you. And I've clearly shown that twice now already. Don't be afraid to take out your secondary. A lot of people forget about their secondary. Just use their uh, the primary MP5 that's given to you. If 
you're out of ammo and you're in a tight situation, pull out your pistol. You can still kill with it. It's a very good weapon. And it's very fast, too. It can save your life, and it saved my life a lot of times in this game, too, so... Don't be afraid to pull it out. Now, you don't want to overuse it like I am right there. I probably should be taking out my MP5. Because the pistol really is just in case you need a, another gun, and your other primary is out of ammo, or whatever the case may be. I thought that was my guy, so I didn't attack him, and he almost killed me, so that's kind of scary. Again, it's the whole thing where the sun's blinding me right, blinding me right now. I can't really see who's who. I guess this kind of works, you uh, just sit here and wait for them to run across. It takes a lot longer, but if you just go around, since there's so many ways, so many angles for them to attack you, it might not be the best idea, unless there's only like a few of them and you think you can take them. That right there, I don't know what happened, if you saw that, I kind of like, for the first guy I was about to kill him and then my mouse just went completely down to the left. I guess it just kind of glitched out right there, but... <laughs> Told you, there's always a teabag in this video. But you know, boarding a submarine underwater, going inside it, launching missiles, this is by far the most interesting, the most fun mission in this entire game. Grid coordinates follow. Tango, whiskey, zero, five, six, six, and although two, I already died eight. twice in like five minutes, it's Four actually minutes it's not that hard. It's one of the easier missions, I should say. Because there's no helicopters that just come out of random. There's no RPGs that people shoot at you. This, just this whole scenario, this ambiance with the battleships and all this stuff in the background, this is just. This is gold. Now, this one, I'm not sure if they can kill you when you're just uh, going around in this little boat. I think all they do is actually just injure you to like, scare you. But I don't think they can actually kill you. I could be wrong. So obviously, if you don't follow this guy, you're gonna have to the mission, so you have to follow him. Look out! Shoot the mines! I don't know if this is just on the PC, or if it's just on my game, or it just glitched out right there, but after you get off the aircraft carrier, you have to start going forward again. And I, also, I got caught the other time I played that. I stopped it. Like, why am I stopping it? At the replay the mission, but you know, just simple things like that. There she is, go, go! Metal Zero One, we are feet away. Gotta love the music to this game, too. Big Apple, achievement unlocked. Veteran on the first two missions. Not that bad too, it wasn't that difficult to get. Alright. 
Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.